Now it's time to put it all together. Once the material has been removed from the surface of the module, palpation will reveal several lumps that are buried deeply. This is a representation of what you will find within the simulated subcutaneous tissue. Across the top are four small masses placed side by side. In the middle are two larger masses, and across the bottom lie two blue tubes that represent veins. You will not be able to palpate the veins, and locating them will require some exploration. Let's start at the top. Locate one of the small masses. With your scissors, open up the simulated subcutaneous tissues vertically, making sure that your opening is larger than the structure to be removed. This material is self-retracting, and although you may have to push the material away occasionally, it should stay out of your way. With your scissors and forceps, dissect down along your initial incision until you encounter the mass. You'll find that it is fairly adherent to the surrounding tissue, just like you might find with a lipoma or a sebaceous cyst. Once you have clearly identified the superior surface, begin the dissection out laterally. You should grasp the simulated subcutaneous tissue with your forceps and create a small plane around the mass. This may require cutting or tissue separation depending on how adherent the surrounding material is. Try and develop the plane that leaves little of the simulated subcutaneous tissue on the mass. This will require a combination of cutting and spreading. Going around the other side will require that you grasp the mass with your forceps and retract up and away from the surrounding tissues. Again, using your scissors with cutting or tissue separation motions will develop a plane between the mass and the surrounding material. The direction of the curve of your scissors for this exercise is a bit controversial, but you will probably gain purchase of tissue better with the curve facing down. However, as you come around the back of the mass, you'll note that we've changed the direction of the scissors to allow circumferential dissection in poorly visualized areas. A major part of your success in removing this mass will be the amount of tension you apply to the area to be dissected. Upward retraction is critical, particularly as you address the undersurface of the mass to be dissected. Again, Try to maintain a plane as close as possible to the mass with the removal of as little surrounding tissue as possible. As the lump is being excised, as noted previously, you may have to gently push the surrounding tissues out of the way. Once the tumor has been excised, proceed on to another utilizing the same technique. The masses in the center are larger, however the technique is the same. It will be a little more difficult to develop the plane on the undersurface, but with appropriate retraction and careful cutting, this can be done fairly easily. Once all of the masses have been excised, proceed to the removal of the two simulated veins. First of all, you have to find them, and this is probably best done with a vertical exploratory incision over the middle of the lower board. As you dissect down, you will see the blue structures buried deep within the simulated fat. Very carefully expose the upper surface of the vein. Removal of the vein will require incising the fatty tissue over the entire length that is to be removed. This can be done in steps. Once the simulated vein has been identified, dissection should continue over the anterior surface for a period of several centimeters. The vein can then be retracted by gently grasping the surface and retracting it superiorly while the undersurface is dissected away from the surrounding tissue. This technique of exposing the anterior surface for a distance and then developing a circumferential tissue plane can be extended in both directions until both ends of the vein have been reached.
Upon removal, examine it for the amount of surrounding tissue that remains. While it cannot be cleaned completely, it should be relatively free of the white material. So how do you feel you did? You should be gaining a comfort level with using both hands for the motions of dissection. We hope that this module has been helpful in practicing these skills. Once again, thank you for using our SimVivo learning systems to help with your surgical skill acquisition.